Hi friends! If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm Lindsay and this is Let's Budget. On this channel we do cash stuffings, savings challenges, and most things budgeting. Today we are going to be cash stuffing our savings challenges from the last paycheck of the month of May. So, if you like videos like that, please stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're going to get right into it. First things first, we are going to be starting with our vacation or our travel savings challenge. I have decided that for travel, we will be putting $60 into travel, friends. How is everyone doing? How was everyone's weekend? We have made it to the end of May. It is almost summertime. If not already summer for some of the kids, our kids um, have to go through go to school through the month of June, just the first week. Um, so we are, summer is upon us. Now, to be very transparent about our vacation, we pay for our vacation with our credit card. So this money will be going back on the credit card. Yes, I'm making payments. Yes, it did increase our debt. But when we get to the $3,000, that's how much the, the vacation cost in total was $3,000. So all of this money will go back on the credit card, even though I'm already paying on it um, right now. Next, we have Schoolhouse Rocks or Back to School for us. Back to school for us will be in the month of, we're shooting for the month of August. So it, it's a low priority. So with this being a low priority, it's not going to get a lot of, um, schoolhouse, uh, back to school for us is in August. So we have until august or not even august um i guess july oh i guess i might want to speed this one up just a little bit um just because we are about to be in june and i don't i know i'm not close to 525 dollars so we will try to speed this one up um i thought i had a little bit more time birthday Birthday is getting $20 this time. I'm focused on birthday when I probably need to be focused on that schoolhouse rock. So, um, birthday is getting $20. We have decided that this birthday is for our sons. Y'all, I am, I'm a little bit extra. Let me just be honest. I'm a little extra. So, the theme for the birthday party is WWE. He won a WWE birthday. Mommy is going to make a WWE birthday party happen, right? So I started looking up WWE stuff for the birthday party. And friends, that stuff is sold out. Like, it was so hard for me to find stuff that says WWE. Yes, I know we're in the month of May. Yes, I know the birthday party is not until November. If you have not noticed, I am a planner. I like to be um, prepared. I don't like to be behind the eight ball when things come up. Uh, note, that's why I am saving for this birthday party, right? So, anywho, um, I was looking for some things for the birthday party. Couldn't find them. Couldn't find them on Amazon. Couldn't find them on Walmart couldn't find them at this place that we have here called Party City. I don't know if your city has it or not. If your city or state has a Party City, Party City is a just what it says. You can go there and buy things for birthday parties or any type of party for that matter, weddings, graduations, things like that. Anywho, so Party City was sold out of everything. They didn't have what I wanted. Walmart didn't have it. Amazon, the prices were sky high. So, I went to this place here in town. It's called Arnie's. Arnie's had what I was looking for. And again, I know it's May, but I went ahead and I bought it. I did buy it with my card. 
So I will be reimbursing myself for what I bought from Arnie's. I spent $26. Um, so this 20 may be coming right back out, friends. Um, so I spent $26 at Arnie's for things that I needed for his birthday party. His birthday party is going to be at a place. So we don't have to be concerned with cleanup and things like that and have all these people in our house. So, yeah, uh, $26. I will be keeping the receipts to see how much I spend on birthday. Christmas. Christmas is a very low priority for us right now. We have a long ways until Christmas. So, because we have such a long way from Christmas, Christmas will only be getting ten dollars i think i am going to switch up the way i do these cash stuffings next week and when i say switch up i just mean which ones i pay first um because the vacation is already paid for i will be putting money to it but i won't be putting as much money to it and i will start focusing on back to school next we have our hundred envelope challenge we also have our five dollar and our one dollar challenge as well so what can we do friends what can we do to be able to stuff everything so to be able to stuff everything whew, let me see let me see Lindsay. what can we do we can do Um, ummy, ummy, ummy. I have three ones, three fives, and a ten. So, we will definitely use the ten. We will use a five. And we will use a him. Guys, what would you guys do? We're going to use a $1 bill. Maybe two $1 bills. Let's see. So. Now that's looking like I need to use all of the $1 bills because I could do, yeah, I probably will have to use all of the ones. So the $1 challenge may not get anything. So we will do, we can do $7 and Sorry friends, my video did get cut off. We ended up stuffing the $7 and the $11 of the 100 envelope challenge. You have made it to the end of the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next video, my friends, have a great day.